So I just presented a study of a randomized control trial of omega-3 fatty acids in persons with HIV. Uh, and we found that after two years or 24 months of therapy, the triglycerides were decreased in the treatment group, but not the placebo group. And that overall, uh, over the 24-month course of the study, the triglycerides decreased significantly in those on therapy. Another thing we noticed was that C-reactive protein, which is a measure of systemic inflammation, decreased in the treatment group uh, over time, but not in the placebo group. We also looked at adherence and tolerability, and we found no difference in the adverse effects, serious adverse effects, um, in patients who were on treatment or placebo group. Uh, and overall, the study drug was well tolerated over the two-year period. We did not see a difference in HDL levels uh, between the treatment and placebo groups, which is what we expected. Most other studies have not found a difference in HDL, although a few studies have seen that uh, omega-3s may reduce HDL. Uh, we actually had a prior study that showed uh, changes in the HDL subpopulations to make a more favorable profile, but the actual uh, total HDL did not change. So based on these results, I would suggest uh, the use of high-dose omega-3 fatty acid supplementation for people with HIV who have high triglycerides, and they may also get the added benefit of some reduction in inflammation with this uh, supplementation. In our study, we used a prescription-grade high-dose omega-3 fatty acid formulation, which for some patients may be difficult to afford. Uh, for those patients, we would recommend uh, high-quality, over-the-counter fish oils uh, that they can obtain uh, more easily if possible.